and that is equal to variance in the system. My focus of research is really in the boundary between the land and the sea, and specifically the interaction between waves and tides and the seafloor, and how the waves and tides change the shape of the seafloor, and how the changing shape of the seafloor then influences the evolution of the fluid mechanics. She really cares passionately about the quality of her research, the impact of her research, but at the same time she realizes that part of it is grooming the next generations of scientists and engineers. So she works really closely with her graduate students, undergraduate students, even high school teachers in her laboratory. And I think instilling on them the importance of doing high quality research. And that's something that I think really sets her apart. Diane is a great mentor because she's involved in her students' lives, um, not just academically, but um, she really cares about you as a person as well. I find that my relationship with my students, they're a little like three-dimensional puzzles and each one of them comes in and they all have their own skills and strengths and we work together to identify what their goals are and how to get there. She really works to put her graduate students first and make sure that we will all end up with a job after we finish our degrees and also understand the material as we're going through. Diane just carries the connection through with her students uh, much longer than they've been in school with her. Our faculty really do have this appreciation of the educational mission in addition to the research mission. I think Diane could go off and be an extremely successful researcher without really worrying about the education side of it. But like many faculty members on our campus, she cares about both and that's the type of faculty members that we end up recruiting and I think what makes UNH unique.